Um, today is April 27, 2015, and I have with me Bijan, Casey, Gorda, Harris, and Caitlin. Hello, everybody. Hello. And a couple more people might join soon because I posted, I just posted a couple minutes ago. Um, hey, Sarah. Oh, Sarah. All right. Uh, what is happening? Nothing special. Uh, today I had a morning hangout and it was pretty long and I'm happy about it. I'm still learning channeling. I started about two weeks ago and it's a nice ride. Every day is different. Every day I'm learning something. And most of the latest days I am completely phased out. That's the word. Between the hangouts I'm phased out. It's something weird happening. Nothing tangible but very very weird. Uh, the, the reality is sort of is uh, is not real. It, it is strange. Reality is strange. And uh, I, I get different sensations like goosebumps and stuff. Today I discovered that hmm, I mean, for you it might, be, it might go as uh, given, but for me it was something new I discovered. That Jim and I are independently teaching the same things. We get similar downloads. Surprise. <laughs> I thought that, uh, you know, we are connected as independent mm, units. And now it looks like uh, we are some, somehow connected more closely than that. So we get similar downloads and uh, similar answers. <sighs> I offer private sessions now. You can find me on humancolony.org. Go to contacts and my email is max at humancolony.org. And also I have, um, I'm offering um, mainstream service, uh, computer tune-ups and my introductory rate twenty dollars an hour I clean it from, from clean your computers from John can set up you know if it has been hacked I will unhack it and uh, make Trial. work it's supposed to do interesting I, I think I know who is making that noise hmm. trial last time I don't remember though All right I think the last time it was Siri do we have Siri here trial trial who is doing you trial? You probably stick them. Very most likely a troll. That last person. Which trial. one was last? Who was that? Uh, it says Dimitri. Yes, it was Dimitri. All right. Well, let's mute Dimitri. Uh, last time, oh, already muted. Good. Thank you. So I gave uh, controls to everybody. So mute people and eject as needed, because uh, that would be great help. Um, all right, I think I will go and let you speak to someone else. I, I uh, channel Rojo, the Yale, um, Grindel, my version of Grindel, with a tail, and um, Melkina Liron, a, Lir a young Liron female. Is, is Rojo Pleiadian or Yale? Arojo is Yayao. Ah, okay, thank you. I wish to channel a Chakanya. So Chakanya invited. That would be great. Yep. But I'm a little afraid to channel to such a large audience. Maybe I will channel Chakanya first to one or two people and then I will kind of expand. I'm still and it's it's a learning process, so whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah, I'm still hmm. I didn't give all the control away. When we channel, it's we together discussing what we will say next, and then we'll, and then we will say it together. I feel certain I feel the presence, but the information that comes, uh, it comes more like ideas and answers come easy, and specific information, mm, it's more like a guess, my best guess, and I can tell. Cannot tell if it comes. It's my imagination, or it comes from there. It doesn't have a signature. When it, I invite information. It comes, but there is no signature. 
it is it comes as if it was my imagination but I feel a lot of inspiration and I feel the drive and I feel the presence so um, I have first hand certain certain yeah that's what it feels like it's just a flow it's a perfect flow and things flow naturally and it works best when you just let it flow if that makes sense yeah that sort of thing yes yeah invite it and it flows yes all right I usually close my eyes so I can focus on what comes, but I open my eyes once in a while or reopen my eyes together with a visitor to see who is speaking and things like that. I'm not fully away, so I can even press a button on the, on the computer if I need to. But I let them speak more. <coughs> Hello, Rojo is here. Hi. As Max said, I'm a, a, a Jan Yael on I'm on a ship circling, circling the earth. I have male and female energies. It's my choice to be both at the same time. So if I choose to, I could procreate with a male, or if I choose to, I can procreate with a female partner. It's nice to be both. I feel more expressed and more balanced this way. To you, I would look neutral. I would look like a regular tall gray. Hi, everybody. How are you doing this evening? Good, thank you. You're wonderful, Hi. thank you. Hi, nice to be in your presence. How are you? I'm good. I will start with explaining that Max and I are working together. We discuss what to say and we say it together. That works better so far. And I have been lately asked to interpret dreams. It's something new to me. And actually to answer the questions about dreams I have to go away and meditate. While I'm channeling the answer doesn't come. It has to come later. So I'm giving answers, my answer to two previous questions. The first question about dreams was Two sessions ago, a, gent a young, nice lad, gentleman, asked me about such a dream. He usually dreams about him flying an airplane in the passenger seat. And then he's, in one of his dreams, his airplane airplane went down. I offer my interpretation. Just take it as just my two cents, if you may. Your experience is limited because you fly very high and you fly in a capsule of airplane and because you are in a passenger seat. And the plane going down was an advice, a suggestion. Go down, land, get out, and get your experience. Wow. Just a suggestion. Yeah, that actually makes perfect sense to me. Ah, were you there? Were you the one who was dreaming? Yeah, I'm sorry. I had to answer my phone. I'm back now. Ah, hello. Hello. I'm sorry. You. I didn't memorize. It was... The dream was there, but I disconnected it from you. What is your name? Bijan. Ah, Bijan. Thank you for connecting. I apologize. Thank you. Another dream, hmm, maybe last session or two sessions ago, 
was about was was as such. Anubis came to a person after meditation in a dream. Anubis came, the bog of death, and flashed three times. And then there was an image of a gray. I couldn't make make sense of that until it occurred to me that maybe the message was three deaths ago you wore a yayel. You that understand, right? Yeah. Three incarnations ago. That would be right around the time of maybe Atlantis, possibly around that time when the Yael were here. People have different habits. Some incarnate right away. They die and they jump to the next um, vehicle. And some take time to analyze, enjoy, and contemplate. It's very personal, you can say. Um, if I had to guess, I would bring you to Poland in 16th, 16th century as a Jew. Does it make sense? It would be a yell hybrid. No, it doesn't make any sense because um, you were a yell. Yeah, person you were a yell. It could, couldn't be on Earth. It has to be outside. No, ditch it out. I have no idea. I think the person right. who shared the dream is not here with us, so they can't tell us if it <sighs> resonates with them or not. Yeah, if you know who it was, please pass the word along. I will, I will. I do know who it was. Oh, wonderful. Thank you much. Much appreciated. Thank you. All right. My message of today, forgive me for this blunder with uh, Poland. It was maybe, I don't know what was that. Maybe that made sense. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I will take a breath. I love you all. Our the love message you of well. today, thank you, is build your network. I invite you, urge you, encourage you to spend your conscious effort every day to expand and improve your network. In uh, your internet life and on the ground face to face your internet life face to face and on the ground physically face to face hand to hand when you can touch each other the way of expansion has to be selective you have to communicate to the person learn about them sense their vibration, filter it out and see if it matches yours or not. It doesn't have to be the same vibration, it can be a mirror of it, but it has to bring excitement, it has to feel good, it has to energize, you have to feel, to keep that person in your closed network, you have to feel much about them. You have to have much feeling about them, one way or another. And then you have to weed out something which doesn't resonate. So bring more and weed out. Bring more and weed out. And do that every day because this is the phase which mm, is coming. It is already it has already come. The old world is trembling. It is destined to change. And then unit work is absolutely needed to keep the world going, to keep the 
cycle rolling. You are light workers. You have to become networkers. Light workers becoming networkers. Yes. Make it practical. Connect on high level and connect on low level. Ask each other about your daily things, the ones of importance. About your health, about your money, about your family, about your plans, about everything which is important. Knock on each other's doors electronically and physically. Call each other one way or another. And this reduces the noise in the system. It radically links random light workers into a network. And as you link, higher energies can install it, enliven it, populate it. As you connect, it becomes a huge antenna, a grid, which then can absorb better energies, higher energies. Have, mm, how do you call, close connections, close friends, and distance, distant acquaintances, if I pronounce it right. Both are important. Close friends is your close circle, your family, and distant ones are just your community. You have to have both for the balance. And this is it, that's easy, you know all of that, but that is what is my message for today to start the conversation. Welcome everybody. I enjoy uh, speaking to you now. Please help me to serve you better. Go with your questions if you wish, or share your experiences. How was your day today? I feel like um, in our human colony collective here that we really are making friendships through our own personal private hangouts and really are connecting and getting into good conversations about our experiences and connections we're making. And I think that's a good move towards the network you're talking about. Yes. How did you find human colony? My sister actually led me here, um, but she's not as active with it as I was. Um, ah. After my first webinar, I became more active. How did she find Human Colony? Um, YouTube. She started watching um, Jim, channel uh, Lakesh and Takur. How did you find YouTube uh, Jim channeling? Do you know? Um, I think from just Bashar and just oh, wanting yes. to reach out to other channels. Yeah. yeah, many of human colony people come through Bashar, yes. Mm, Bashar has been around, our friend Bashar has been around for a while. He is our yeah. role model and a teacher, yes. I hope one day, I know this might sound a little maybe sell it to some people who don't know, but I think we should build a, a Bashar statue somewhere. One day, maybe, if everyone was into it. <laughs> a Bashar statue. <laughs> Let me pass it along. I don't want that to come out the wrong way. Bashar, as, as they honor. want to build your statue. <laughs> <laughs> as, an, as an honor. They want to build it from what? His favorite crystals. Ah, yeah. But he'd have to provide them. And do sacrifice in front of him, yeah. No sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How did, by me, John, how did you find uh, the community? Um, I think, like, Casey, yeah. It, I don't really remember. I think it was I clicked a video, maybe watching another channeling video. And I also and found what was the was great. way of your awakening? Um, I had I had to go through a lot of negative negative times to change ah. me because I wasn't changing. Ah, 
negative times. And what awakened you? What was that sparkle? Hmm. Um, I guess there were several stages of it. The first, I realized that maybe our history wasn't everything we were told. And then later on, just going through negative experiences uh, enhanced my level of awareness, like it does for many people. So it was analytical. There's an analytical part of it, but it's also yeah. spiritual and emotional. Big, very emotional. Ah, so you did some research and you became awakened through research. Through research and also through feeling. Ah, thank you. And Casey, what was your path of awake awakening? Um, my path was. It was a lot of just curiosity, kind of, and just questioning. It started with spirits and then um, just the idea of aliens. Um, and then it kind of just through research, like Bijan said, and then meditation is what really helped me open the doors to my awareness wide open because then I felt that connection. Ah, how did you learn to meditate? Um, it kind of, I kind of just went with it, honestly. I just, I think I had just had moments outside in nature, and I just let myself relax, and then it kind of happened. And then um, when I had experiences, like where I'd get visualizations or thoughts, that's when I started the practice and finding out, oh, what are the proper ways to meditate, uh, things like that, so I could understand what I was visualizing and experiencing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Does anyone want to share their uh, ways of finding of the community and their ways of awakening? Well, hello, Rojo. This is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. 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 Hi, Sarah. <laughs> Hi. Um, well, I was first introduced to Abraham Hicks. Uh -huh. in January of last year and uh -huh. I spent three and a half months just listening to her and becoming very introspective about the things that were being said because I basically agreed with most of it and no one had ever told me anything like that before <laughs> uh -huh. and then I found Bashar and I was listening to him for like three weeks straight and then I found Roxy, and then she put me onto a hookala. She channels uh, Osipius. Ah, Roxy, I did, the, the sound didn't, didn't come through. Okay, Roxy, yeah. Yes, Roxy. Yes, our friend Roxy. She yeah. joined us in the morning session. Oh, very nice. Ah, so what was your path? It was your path of finding the community and also it was your path of awakening at the same time. Yes. Mm -hmm. ah. How do you do your networking? Well, I'm learning that at the moment. <laughs> I'm getting used to Facebook. I created a page there. I created a community on Google Plus, and I created a page on Facebook for that as well. So what I'm learning how to do. Have you created? It's called Quantum Galactic Society. Wow! And who is running the Quantum Galactic Society page? Well, basically, I post things on there that I think would be interesting to many people. And lots of it has to do with either science, uh, new technology, or aliens. <laughs> like the channelings, the, um, uh, the guidances, uh, the, uh, yeah, the stuff that Hukulo does as well. Different people coming out with their languages, their collective languages, and they're showing themselves on, on the internet or... Um, and I had my page up since last week on Facebook, and let me tell you, I have over 500 friends, and 
people are just texting me the, the, the Facebook text messages and I'm helping them out and, and they're from all over the world. Wow. And it's only been five days. <laughs> wow. And what do you mean under Quantum Galactic Society? Quantum because I believe we are making a quantum leap. Ah in awareness, mm -hmm. in science, in awareness of our spirituality, in mm -hmm. our awareness of uh, uh, the, uh, the whole galactic community mm -hmm. that had been so, like, we've been told in our societies aliens don't even exist. Well, that doesn't even make sense since there are many planets out there and there's galaxies out there and anybody with an eye and we can, you can tell there's other people out there and we're told well they don't exist that makes no sense to me and so this is an awareness of many functions the interdimensional awareness as well that's brand new to well most if not all of us <laughs> it's very brand new and we're finding that we are interdimensional beings. Well, where else can we learn it? We will learn it from each other, you know? And so I post those things. I get the information out there, you know? And it's time. We congratulate you with your early success. Thank you. We see how you attract like-minded light workers your hub became very precise in finding great vibe light workers many light workers we see are linking to you one oh. way or another yes and we watch it with joy Thank you. I do too. And I get excited every time I'm like, oh my God, I got 70 people who want to join. Or at least be my friends on Facebook. And I'm like, believe, click, 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 click. <laughs> I believe your energy is driving that. Is and it? And we don't know how, but it does. <laughs> Most surprising is that you don't show any of your face or physicality in your mm, appearance on their community, but people are still attracted. That's interesting. It is just purified energy, something completely yeah. super physical, supernatural. Beyond well, physical. I, I believe that, you know, once we can get past the idea of physicality, um, we will really be interdimensional beings. We will really be able to accept people. And so at this moment, even though I'm not afraid to show myself, it's just let people get to know you for who you are without putting any preconceptions on who you are based upon your physicality. Interesting, yes. I invite, where do you want to go from here, you and everybody else? Please develop the conversation. They go everywhere. How you doing, Rojo? Ah, Steven. Yes. Ah, good evening. How are you? Doing great, doing great. Just decided to pop in and then join y'all's conversation of light and love and peace. Light and love and peace. Let me quiz you. How did you find this community? How, what, what brought you to this community? Uh, it was a, it was a multiple of things. Uh, I first I've been starting. I've been uh, doing uh, reading messages uh, off the internet uh, through uh, like a computer program and uh, through various channelers that would just do text to speech. 
and uh, also Bashar. I found Bashar, and I, uh, you know, I got a real resonate, a re resonated really well with Bashar, and, bought, and I got a con, uh, also got a contact crystal, the green one, with the little triangle in the middle. Uh, got one of them and uh, watched all his videos, and then basically uh, led on to uh, finding Human Colony, and uh, from Bashar. Uh, just was uh, searching and searching and searching and uh, just keep uh, opening and expanding my mind and my belief systems uh, to the point where I am ready to travel the stars uh, via site to site transfer, connect with any energies that are positive physically or astrally, uh, and uh, get this ball of rolling. Yes, thank you. This brings me to other topics and conversations, but first please uh, specify Green Triangle, apparently it's, it is another hub of uh, connections, what was that? Or well, there's a specific user on YouTube, right? Uh, uh, the contact crystal is part of the Essasani Shikani. Isn't that uh, octagon? octagon? Yeah, it's an ox yeah, octagon shaped, uh, it's a quartz crystal and it has the triangle in the middle with a little swirly pattern in the center of the triangle and uh, and, uh, that, and I got that for because I have a I have a soul contract with the Essasani Shikani uh, race and so uh, it's uh, it's integrated with my heart uh, as, as the last I've uh, been aware of and uh, the elementals actually took it from me so <laughs> the hexagon I'm sorry hexagon yeah, yeah Hexagon oh. said it's like a vote for open contact. If you make one or you can buy one. I made my own too. I drew one. It's a hexagon and uh, it has Bashar's like, I guess, family crest, you could say, in the middle of the triangle with the sides extending. Oh, I know, yes. So, Stephen, you said you got this symbol through internet or did it come to you other way? Was there a miracle involved? Uh, just guidance, guidance uh, through the messages and just kept lead leading me further and further into opening up my innate abilities and uh, becoming more knowledgeable of what's really going on, the truth that is behind the veil. And so uh, at Bashar, I just uh, really wanted, I really connected uh, with and his information, and, and then I went ahead and he had his uh, products or whatever uh, on there, and I bought I bought the uh, contact crystal through the Bashar website, and uh, it's just it's just uh, it was just a feeling that uh, it sh I should have it. Or, uh. hmm. Now, another question of the quiz, which is tightly linked, is how do you do your networking? Uh, physical and remote with humans? Well, I do like playing poker a lot. I do travel. I, I have, I'm in the league, WPP, APL. So uh, I do get out physically and uh, go play poker, Texas Hold'em at that different venues where I'm actually interacting because that's, that's a really good uh, social type of uh, uh, to get to know people, uh, a wide variety of people, and they go to different venues, different bars, that they are hosting this free uh, tournament, this poker tournament. You have eight people that can, uh, that can uh, be at one table at a time, and you have two or three tables. You have you know, 24, 30 people that are there, and I've got to know them very well and also spread the messages of human colony and the peace and light and the other changes and transformations, raising your consciousness. Also speak galactic language in the public sometimes, just out of the blue, just uh, whenever it feels right. And uh, just uh, just spreading the light and love uh, physically that way and then also on uh, the Internet and, uh, and share messages and share videos that I uh, feel will, will help uh, people and guide people into just waking up or if they choose uh, to or not. Uh, it's just be an example and, sh and be a way shower uh, of this information. Wow. Fascinating. Are you making money playing poker? Uh, you can. It's uh, free to get in and it's a small prize. You get a, a cat. You can you win uh, let's say usually like $25 uh, is usually the maximum prize in this Fort Worth area. 
Uh, but as in like, uh, uh, I mean, there's professional people that do it for a living, uh, and I've have been doing it for a while, uh, but really just hadn't had the financial stability to uh, pursue it on a more uh, deeper level. <laughs> You sound like uh, extraterrestrials of 60s. That was some electronic distortion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How is uh, your communication with your nephews? Uh, they're they're good for the most part. Yeah, they're good. I'm I'm uh, uh, Braden and yeah, and the little baby. Uh, yeah, I'm improving my connection with them, opening up more, uh, showing myself. Uh, that's the problem with me is is being here on Earth for 33 years and just just I kind of you know box myself in, close myself in because of all the negativity and the energy. I mean, I grew up in a bad area, bad neighborhood, uh, you know, foster homes and you know abusive family. So, so it's 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 gotten me to where I've kind of closed myself off where it comes to expressing my love to the fullest. See, these children might be even in preschool age when the first contact will happen. You see? They might be hybrids and they might have very special role in ascension. If you are a hybrid, yes, they might be too. Yes, yes. Uh, my mom is hybrid. I, I am actually half human and half Pleiadian. My biological dad is a Pleiadian, tall blue Pleiadian, by the name of Del E. And of course, I have my human dad too. Uh, so, uh, but then I have multiple other uh, hybridization. So you might have been pressed to be very close to these children because they need your vibe, they need your energy. You see? Maybe the reason you are bound to that location is that you have to serve there in that capacity. Consider that possibility. Maybe until you are done with your mission there, there is no way out for you because you need it there. I understand. It is a possibility, just a suggestion. Consider that. Because they might be even more important, is maybe equally important as you are. Maybe they are the main hope. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. And <laughs> sorry to say, but it relates to everybody who is listening. You are a stepping stone and enjoy the troll. Be good stepping stones. I bless your stepping stone mission. That's your highest role and that's what you choose by incarnating here and in the way you do. Thank you for your support. Please uh, share. I wanted to ask you how can we go about manifesting these relationships we can make so easily online into a more direct personal relationship face to face with these communities and these people of like minds. The last word was. I missed the last word. It was cut. Sorry, mind. I said people of like mind. Like mind. Thank you. I invite the answers from the audience. Can you help here? I will join after you contribute. Well, I've, I've noticed that whenever I go out into the 3D public, I 
now come into contact with people of like mine simply because my energy is at a certain level so it seems I am uh, attracting those of like minds much more than I did before um, they seem to be coming to me that makes sense. I feel like I've been drawing in people of curiosity who are open to the idea. Yes. Not necessarily people who are at that same level as I feel with my connections online. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. there's definitely a lot of opportunities to teach and educate others to be mm -hmm. open to these ideas, but it doesn't seem as many that are there. But that's okay. They're they're all going to get there. It's just when you know something is possible, then you can follow that direction to your highest excitement. But if you have no exposure to it, that's when things feel blocked because your heart is telling you something different than the perceived reality. So... That's true. So I I feel one of our uh, I guess our missions here is to be a uh, mechanism of exposure to many people. I invite more contributions from everybody. Yeah, I feel that. Mm -hmm. I I I can just add to that. Hi everyone, this is Harris. Um, I had an, uh, an interesting experience with what you were saying, Sarah, where um, you're actually attracting like minds uh, because of where you're vibrating. I had an interesting experience with that. I was with a, a friend. Uh, we went out like a club or something. He's actually like mind or whatnot. So we, we're talking about some situation that happened. And um, I realized my energy level was fine, but there was something a total stranger did. Um, he just started talking to us, and all he was saying, it was like he was talking to me, my soul, and he was kind of charging my heart, and I just got uplifted. And she did not know, you know, I, I don't know this person, you know, and this person just comes out of nowhere because when we were in the place, he was almost like drunk and just, you know, saying something abstract to other people. But once I and my friend sat down and we started uh, masterminding me and my friend, uh, she came in and joined the conversation in a very perfect way and he actually gave me something. He gave me a gift and I looked at him like, well, this is just a stranger and what has come out of his mouth really means a lot to me but it's like he doesn't even know it. He's, he's just opened up and he was able to get into that uh, uh, stream of where we were. You, you know, so I, so, so I can imagine because of the stream of where we were, it actually helped him get somewhere whereby it in turn helped us. So in a way, it's you vibrating on that level, the attraction is getting stronger. That's what I want to say. And we will be seeing the evidence amongst uh, uh, those people. That's all I wanted to add. Thanks for sharing, Harris, because that actually opened me up to an idea that maybe I am being a little closed off to different people and maybe by like saying oh they don't have this understanding I'm actually closing off the potential for them to influence me in that way that you had the experience you had. Thank you Casey because what you just said I had that I looked at the guy in that way so there was this first judgment that came from me that only me and my friend that I know sitting down are like this because I know him and I'm like Hmm, who is this guy? Who are these people? I kind of shielded myself at first because I wanted to talk to my friends. So I didn't look at all the other people as like minds. I'm like, oh, this is just normal 3D. That's fine. But then once he went there, I, you know, I took that back. I'm like, oh, oh my God, you don't know wherever you're gonna get this from. Oh my God, I started looking at him. I'm like, wow, you know. So that's it, it, 
that's true. You know, you don't close the doors because anyone can kind of reach there. And you can help them. The mere fact that you're there vibrating in that way, maybe before they got into that place, they were vibrating in a very low place. But because of that, they, that they now remember that they have that outlet as well. They have that opening and that opportunity to be on that level as well, vibrate with you or do something for themselves. Oh, thank you. Yes. Sounds wonderful. Any more uh, sharings on that topic? I will try something. Oh, thank you. If I understand well, uh, you ask how I attract more people like you. In physicality, in uh, yeah. physical, yes. Yeah. I will reverse the question in some way. The question is, Imagine you already reach the goal you just put here. Imagine everything, all the people you already attract and more was already around you. Everything is realized. And uh, maybe put on paper or something like three step, five step. And imagine the five step is the goal you already reach. And just imagine what what is already there when you reach the step. What have changed in your life? What have changed in your mind, in your point of view when you already there? Then begin to put that on paper. And after you look the step four. What, what you change to be able to move to, to step four to, fifth, to step five. And you can just move on the step four. You write what is change, what is there, what you see, and you move then like that to, to step three. What has changed to give you a possibility to move to step four? Put on the paper, write, and do it again and again and again until you reach your present moment and you will uh, have your answer. If you have everything inside you, you don't need to search outside. That's true. Perhaps what I'm searching for can be found, or what is it that I'm searching for and how can I find that within myself, or why am I even looking for it in the first place? Yeah, nothing is broken. That's true. Thank you. Anybody else? There are so many answers to that very simple question. We should continue that line of conversation. We already started it a couple of sessions ago and it expands and expands. Yes, loneliness. Hidden loneliness, that is a big topic. I just want mm, to bring up my two cents. Here is the and path, a path. Follow your highest excitement. See what interests you, what resonates you in phys with you, what resonates with you in physical world around you. See what's most interesting. And when you come there, think how you could help how you could be of service. And when you come there, you are destined to meet someone who was thinking with the same vibration along the same lines because they would also end in the same point. It's just one of the thoughts which is kind of obvious. If you just search and screen and sense what is most exciting, what, where the vibe is most appropriate for your excitement. 
other people are doing the same and you end up in the same point. Of course you have to be open to see that physically they might look differently and they might behave differently. But just check it out. Be protected, of course. Be protected. <sighs> About protection, it is another big topic. Being protected environment. There are groups of interest. If you have time, check out on meetup.com just the calendar of events for today and just see what meetups, what groups of people are meeting in your area today. In some of the big cities there are a couple hundred meetups per day and some of those are of your type. And there, when you meet some people who are of your kind in general, ask them what are other places where they meet people, how do they meet other people in your area? What are other hubs? Sometimes it is a psychic store, sometimes it is a Reiki share group, sometimes it is a UFO research interest group, sometimes it could be anything, light workers, magic, shaman, paranormal, a uh, spiritualist church. Mm. I'm blanking on it just a second. Uh, the, the society which was founded, Theosophic Society, yeah, Theosophic Society. Zen Meditation Group and many others. Qigong Tai Chi groups, healing groups, stone interest groups, the magic store, witchcraft groups. It sounds scary, but mm, sometimes wonderful people are there. <sighs> yes, and some of those are very guarded, very well organized, so you will be well protected there. Find a group of people which can go together with you, so you're even more protected. Yes. Hope it helps. It did. Thank you. All right. I got to start wrapping up. Hmm. Thank you for the co-creation of this session. It was a pleasure and felt great. Thank you, you're wonderful people, wonderful crowd, wonderful audience. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you so much. We learned today the name Rojo means spirit. Ah, interesting. Hmm. All right, let's do the the blessings. Who will be doing the blessings? I like to do one. That's all right. Yeah. I like to do one too. Yes. Thank you. Any more? Thank you. The lady first. Yeah. Thank you. Hmm. Sha. Namaste. 
Namaste. The, I will just reflect on you, on your blessing. The path of change is a narrow path between the white and the black, between light and dark. As I wiggle moving forward, I make choices. Moving forward is about making choices. I bless your path. Your path is unique. And every step is a choice for you. And I bless your every step. May every step move you forward, closer to your goal. And make you every step of yours move you closer to your future friends who you will meet soon and who will make you a great company. You will no longer be alone. You will be together. And together you will shine much, much brighter. That was beautiful. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. ตัดที่กระตุ้นหัวตัดกระจินตัดตัดตัวรีกีกระตาตัวเนี่ยกระตายยันตัดที่กระจายนรกตัวกว่าตัดที่กระตุ้นกระตุ้นนั้นฮั
I have uh, made the conscious decision to get off a heavy drug that the state provided me um, called methadone. And um, I'm coming off of that in withdrawals. And I, I'm getting off and being clear, but right now it's really affecting my muscles and my back. Because I was feeling something going on back there. Yeah, you're doing great, though. All things, yeah, all you're things doing really there. great. Thank you, guys. It means so much to me to have you all here. I can't uh, explain it in words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Matt, another thing I was taught that in um, Qigong, yeah, no, Tai Chi, in Tai Chi class, you just massage your back like that a uh, few times a day. Just massage gently without breaking it. But you don't have to have anyone. You can massage. You can reach your back. And uh, inflammation there, it's called neurogenic inflammation. The nerves uh, are irritated, and they bring neutrophils, which release peroxide and activating the nerves. So the nerves get irritated. They call for help. The immune cells come and produce even more pain. So the good way of calming it down is by massaging it with love and with energy. You don't have to press hard, but, but really you move around also the fluids, and the fluids are blood and lymph. Pay attention to the liver. It's your lymph, lymphatic vessels. Lymphatic vessels and lymph. It's the key of immunity and even more than that. So you have to help your lymphatic system to clear up the toxins from your lower back. Thank All you right. very much. I'm sorry about the... Uh, don't worry, don't worry. There, but I did hear you. Uh, that Just touching it like that with my hands really already made a huge difference on that side. Also, when you walk around, find a tree and imagine yourself being a cat scratching your back against a tree. It helps a lot, especially if it's a good tree. Yeah, try different trees. That's a great idea. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right, so you can find us on humancolony.org. Uh, my email is max at humancolony.org. If you want to be invited by email, uh, send me a message. I also uh, offer private sessions, and I offer switch to mainstream stuff. I offer uh, a, a remote tune-up of the computers to remove the software, malicious software, tune up your software so it works normally. All right, and with that, um, thank you, everybody, for co-creation. Have uh, much love and appreciation. Have a good day. Have a good evening. Thank you, Matt. Bye.